The St. Cloud State men's hockey team travels east to Kalamazoo, Michigan to face the Western Michigan Broncos this Friday and Saturday. Welcome to another episode of Rinkside with Mick Hatton, where we preview what you need to know heading into this weekend series. The Huskies are coming off of their first sweep of the season over the Miami University Red Hawks. And I don't know about you, but I think that was a pretty solid start to NCHC play. What do you think the vibe is of this team, the, the temperature of this team is right now. When you score nine goals in a, in a weekend, obviously they they found some line combinations that th that they like. There was three guys I think on the weekend that had their first goals of the season, so uh, I think they're they're feeling pretty good about that. It was a breakout weekend for senior forward Joe Molinar. He was named NCHC Forward of the Week, rightfully so, after he got his first collegiate hat trick. What can you say about Joe and his development and how he's really flourished on this squad this season? He's not somebody you want to go, go up against, particularly in tight areas. Uh, he, he's, he's a very strong player. He, he's going to use his size and he's got pretty good speed. And we saw on Saturday that uh, he's got a good set of hands. For a guy that's spent so much time in this program, and, and you know is really well liked uh, in that locker room. It, it's fun to see him kind of break out a little bit. For sure, and we saw some of the best play we've seen from senior netminder Dominic Bassey in between the pipes. He recorded his second shutout of the season. What did you like about his game? That, that shutout, he, I think he only had 15 saves, and sometimes when you're not seeing a ton of shots, it, it's tough to for a lot of goalies to kind of keep sharp and he was able to and then he kind of rose up to that so they they need that consistency from him. The Huskies travel out of state for the first time this season when they face the Western Michigan Broncos and in the Broncos last time out they split their series with Omaha but they're going to be at home this weekend and as we both know Lawson Ice Arena is not the easiest barn to play in. What kind of A game does St. Cloud State really have to bring? The big thing with Western Michigan is they're an explosive offensive team. They have a tendency to kind of create a, a, a top line that's one of the top scoring lines in the country. Those guys kind of move on to the to the NHL. This season that they found another first line. Dylan Went, Luke Granger, Ethan Phillips. It is a tough place to play. It's a it's a smaller arena. And they were eight, eight and one at home last season. So they're, it's not like they're unbeatable there. There's a great student section there and that they're kind of right on top of the players. You know, St. Cloud State's just got to kind of shut all that out of out of their the back of their minds and, ju and just play hockey. Head coach of the Broncos goes Pat Fershweiler brings a hefty squad this year seven freshmen four transfers of those new faces to the Broncos roster who's been really keeping teams on their toes. Ethan Phillips is on that top line played at Boston University and has really kind of found himself added more offense he's getting a lot of playing time with with Western Michigan they're a little bit deeper and a little bit older on, on defense than they have been in the past few seasons make no doubt about it though I mean their team that wants to play up tempo uh, so St. Cloud State's got to be on top of their toes. Thank you so much for your insight this morning, Mick. The Huskies and the Broncos face off this weekend at Lawson Ice Arena. Friday night's game set for 6 o'clock and Saturday night's puck drop at 5. You can find both games streamed on nchc.tv. We'll see you next time.